The objective within this lesson is to use basic facts to estimate quotients with two-digit divisors. 6046 divided by 23, and again we're looking for an estimation here. We'll go ahead and look at the divisor and round the divisor first. And so we have 23 there, which is closest to 20. Now our next step is to look at 6046, and let's round it so it's easy to divide by 20. So what we can do is we can look for an easy fact. And we look for that easy basic fact where it is that we're looking at what is easily divisible by 2, or that 2 tens there. And then so we have 6 easily divisible by 2, so 6046 close to 6,000. Now we have 6,000 divided by 20. I know that this can be rewritten as 6,000 divided by 10, or breaking down 20. Breaking down 20 is 10 times 2. So that'd be 6,000 divided by 10 divided by 2. 6,000 divided by 10, our number is going to get smaller there, where it is that the digits would shift to the right. So we have 600 divided by 2, and half of 600 is 300. So that 6,046 divided by 23 is about 300. And 300 is our estimated quotient. We now have 3,624 divided by 53. And again, we are looking to estimate that quotient. And in order to estimate the quotient, we look at the divisor first. Which of these two numbers is the divisor? Right, 53. And what we'll do with 53 again is we will round it. 53 rounded to the nearest tens place is 50. So now we have where it is that we have 3,624 divided by 53 is about something divided by 50. In the previous lesson, we are looking at multiples of 50. However, our whole here, 3,624, we would have to count up to a lot of 50s before we actually hit something that is close to 3,624. However, we can use basic facts to help us figure out this answer. We are still looking for a basic fact that involves the 5. And again, if we look at those holes, we're looking at either we've got 3,000 there, we've got 36 hundreds there, and so we have to think about those 5s and multiples of 5 still. we got 5, 10, 20... 25, 30, 35, 40, and in this case, the closest there, we're looking at 36 there, is going to be 35. That'd be 36 hundreds, and in this case, we're talking about 35 hundreds, and 35 hundreds is equal to 3,500. So that's why it is that we are figuring out that estimate there. Now all we need to do is to evaluate that, where we have 3,500 divided by 50. I'll show that work. We'll break apart 50 into 10 and 5. 3,500 divided by 10 is 350. And then we have 350 divided by 5. That's 35 tens divided by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7 already. And then so that's 7 tens, which is worth 70. So our estimate and our estimated quotient for 3,624 divided by 53 
is 70. Here's a problem for you to try. Pause that video. What did you come up with for the estimated divisor? Did you come up with 60? Then we look at how many hundreds there are within our whole. There's 52 hundreds within that whole. And then so we have multiples with that 6 for a basic fact. You got 6 then 12, then 18, 24, 30, that's 6 times 5, 36, 42, 48, 54. And then we also have 60. That would be 10 times 6 for those multiples. The closest to 52 is 54. And then so 52. 278 or 5278 which is um, closest to 54 there and that's 54 hundreds. What is 54 hundreds equal to? 5400. So we're looking at that basic fact of 9 times 6 equaling 54 and 9 hundreds times 6 equaling 5,400. Working that out, what we do is we end up getting 540 divided by 6, which is 90. So our estimated quotient is 90. Here's one last problem where it is that we're going to go ahead and figure out that estimate. So we have our whole of 8,217 and we're dividing by 92. 92 is our divisor. We'll estimate that divisor first, round it to the nearest tens place. So 92 is equal to rounded nearest tens place is 90. So we have something divided by 90. Now we use a basic fact and we're looking for a basic fact of 9 times something being close to this number here. And then so we're not looking at the 8 because 9 times 1 already is 9. And then so we wouldn't be looking at thousands. Let's look at hundreds where it is that we're looking at something that is close to 82. 9 times 7 already is 63. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 10 is 90. And so that basic fact where it is that it's closest to the 82 and the 82 hundreds that are in 8,217 is 9 times 9, which is 81. So we're looking at this one right here. And then so we're looking at how it is that we get 81. 81 what? Oh, okay, this is 81 hundreds. And then so 8100 is still close to 8217. Still looking at that basic fact, we've got 81 divided by 9, which is 9. We just have to figure out still how many zeros there are going to be within our estimated quotient. And so we follow through with our steps. 8100 divided by 10 divided by 9. 8100 divided by 10 is 810. And we divide that by 9 using our basic fact that we know there, that would be 90. So our estimated quotient is 90.